What were those five conditions that I was referring to before? The first of them is actually love. That to be a slave of Allah, you have to love Allah. You can't be considered his slave until you love him. And what that love means is everything else you love must be less than the love you have for Allah. And every other thing you love must be dictated by the love you have for Allah. So you cannot love your wife or your children or your family or your whatever unless that love is taba'an. It's underneath, it's in submission to the love you have for Allah. That's the first condition of slavery. The second is obedience. You know, like the Messenger says, there's no obedience to the creation in, in a while disobeying the Creator, basically. Okay? In other words, we can obey, you have to obey your boss, you have to obey traffic laws, yes, you have to obey other things, but none of those obediences can exist while you are in disobedience to Allah. That obedience comes first. So the first one was love, and the second one is obedience. The third one is sincerity. And what, what that means is, everything you do is you do it as a slave now. It's not some things you do as a slave. You know, if you're a worshiper, only salah is for Allah, everything else is for you. Right? But if you're a slave, what is everything for? Or who is everything for? Everything's for Allah. Everything, your job is for the sake of Allah, your family is for the sake of Allah, your worship is for the sake of Allah, everything's for the sake of Allah. But when you just think of yourself as a worshiper, you only give one part of your life to Allah. You don't give the whole thing to Allah. So Allah teaches us in the Qur'an, inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen. There's a rub again. My prayer belongs to Allah. It's for, for His sake. My sacrifice is for His sake. My life and my death are also for His sake. You know what that means practically? It practically means that when I make career goals, when I make family goals, when I make business goals, what is my ultimate agenda? What's my lo- what, are, what are these things for? They are for the service of my master. It's a change of attitude. So even most Muslims today, when we look at the ayat, when Allah calls us to become His slave, what do we reduce it to most of the time? We reduce it to worship. He's asking for something way more. It's something huge, it's something tremendous. So we've got, we've got three conditions so far. What do you have? We have love, obedience, sincerity. Our motives are now directed by Allah, sincerely for the sake of Allah, and that's gonna come up in this ayah. Then two more. The next condition is trust. Tawakkul. We have to have trust in our master. By the way, these five conditions, which scholar did I say? Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah. This, these five conditions of slavery, right? You have to have absolute trust in this master. Whatever he does, you have to trust is good for you. Whatever he gives you is good for you. Whatever he didn't give you, he didn't give you because it's good for you. If you got something, it's from Allah, it's a gift. If you didn't get something, there's also good in that. You have absolute trust. Whatever may happen, whatever may occur, it is because of Allah's decree. إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مِّن قَبْلِ أَنَّ بْرَأَهَا لِكَيْ لَا تَأْسَوْ عَلَى مَا فَاتَكُمْ وَلَا تَفْرَحُوا عَلَى مَا آتَكُمْ It's simple. You know, whatever he may give you, so you don't become sad over what you lose, you don't become overjoyed over what you gain, everything is from Allah. Your tawakkul is placed, your complete reliance and trust is placed in Allah. So this, ma- this slave does not put his trust in means. You don't trust your car because it's a reliable, reliable company. You don't trust your family. Your trust in them comes from who? From trust. Your expectations come from Allah, not from your family. When you place your trust in creation, you will always be disappointed. When you place your trust in Allah, nothing will disappoint you. Nothing will disappoint you.